Welcome to my channel. This is a time lapse of some geraniums. The photo reference I used, um, I took myself. I really, the inspiration was the Mediterranean Ocean. I just pictured these geraniums sitting somewhere on a wall with the Mediterranean in the background, hence the turquoise blue. And I thought that would work really well because the color of the geranium flowers are like a hot tropical coral pinky red orangey color so that was my inspiration so I, th I thought complementary colors let's go with turquoise and then orange reds and i think um the color combination works really well i'm using a mixture of different pastels all i will say for this piece thank goodness for the diane townsend fluorescent set it's the first time i've actually used them um, because they are obviously fluorescent um, but I felt they were just what I needed to make this piece really glow and make it look like these geraniums are sitting, you know, in the midday sun and that the light is just beaming um, through and bouncing off the leaves and the geraniums. So I also used base layers of Sennelier Vermilions, Chinese Vermilion as well as Jack Richardson. I've got a set of their vibrant colors and I used one red. It's kind of like a cherry red in the shadow parts. Um, a little bit of pastel pencils in here too, but not that many. I've used Terry Ludwig for the darks as well in this because I can't do a painting without cracking open the Terry Ludwigs. The paper I'm using here is the dark blue pastel mat. It's from um, the pad, I think it's a number five. Um, it's A3 pad, so 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters. For me, the biggest struggle in this piece was the leaves. I was feeling very intimidating, um, intimidated when I looked at the photo reference. And then my brain kicked into my method system which holds me through a lot. So my method system is try and simplify what you're seeing. And you do that by looking at shapes and the value. So how light or dark areas are. So put in your darks, the dark shapes you can see. Then I went in with the mid-tone greens. And then I also played with lighter greens and wanting to see how that all played together and if I was going to continue using that throughout the leaf. So as you can see, I started on the top more. That's me feeling out the painting. When I say feeling out the painting, I mean, I am seeing if the colors that I'm choosing are working. I very rarely um, pull out every single color and stick to those colors to use for my painting. I'm inevitably painting and then the painting's telling me, oh, you need more of a yellow green or a darker green or whatever. So I don't stick to one palette. I inevitably grab from all of my palettes till I end up with about a ton of pastels that I've actually worked with. My favorite part in this painting was doing the terracotta pot. I absolutely love creating pots, ceramics, glass. For me, it's just such a joy to paint. Um, so I really enjoyed this part of it. I belong to um, a Facebook group called Illustration for Botanical Artists, I think. And somebody on there mentioned to me that my geranium is distressed. Um, that's why the leaves are red. I had no idea. I thought this was part of some geraniums. But it's not, so I've got to change the pH of my soil. I felt so bad for my geranium when I heard that. Because the whole time I'm painting this going, look how pretty this lovely pinky red is in here. But actually that's not a good sign. Just by the by, if you were interested to know. The shadow. I had to come back the next day to lighten up that shadow. It was just too overpowering and your eyes were just drawn to that shadow. I enjoy high contrast work. Um, but I really did want the geraniums to be the star of the show and not that shadow. So I toned that down by bringing in um, a lighter color to take away from the darkness so that the shadow would melt a little bit more into the pavement. And I was much happier um, with the end result just because, like I said, that gave the geraniums the chance to 
um, sing and to, yeah, just be the star of the show, really, of the painting. If you've enjoyed this, you can check me out on Patreon. This is uploaded there um, real time. It's about four and a half hours worth of painting. So, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.